Hey guys, what's up? It's Steven here from Team 5Ds doing a uh, deck profile and a couple duels with my agent deck that me and Eric have been working on. It's a pretty fun deck. It's not the most competitive, but I mean, it's always fun to get Hyperion and Christy out. So it's, it's a fun deck. I mean, let's see. It's so basically, um, we're playing against a weird Gishi deck right here. I'm not really sure why he has the Necklace Kaleido Mirror in there. Um, he has some pretty cool cards. We didn't, me and Eric were playing here, and we were like, we were, like playing at the same time. We just didn't know what was really going on here, so... He was a little nervous for me at first attack, and I'm just like, nah, it's all good. I don't think anything's gonna happen. If you wanna waste something on, Ju on Earth, go ahead. Tornado. Oh my god, what is, what is this guy playing? <laughs> Tornado wall. Okay, um, I draw. I'm like, fuck it. Let's regeki. Then I get Venus. Go to the standard Venus play here. Shine ball. Shine ball. Shine ball like a diamond. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, get all three out, and then. Let's go into a gachi gachi again, Tensu. And then I have, like, everything else. I went to an ancient sacred wyvern, and at this point, I was minus 500 because of that, but now it goes up to 4,000 because I gained those fifth extra fifth, those extra attack points. Trap jammer. Oh, God. Mm. At this point, yeah, I normal, I normal summon uh, Zeraldus, attack directly. And then it makes ancient sacred wyvern go up to, like, 6,500, so it's pretty good. This was a quick win in there. I mean, we, we did a couple duels. These were all pretty much in a row, so. Like, we, we played an Exodia deck in between. We beat him game one, and then I just didn't feel like playing him again, so. so. Okay, this was like some weird chaos deck that me and Eric went up against. Um, It was it was interesting, at least. Uh, Thanks for the sky, I believe I activate. Then I go for. Activate Valhalla. Valhalla's effect was so much Shine Ball. <laughs> and get Earth, Earth's effect at Hyperion, overlay into Gacha Gacha Gintensu, or yeah, no wait, do I? Oh no, 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 I, I change, yeah, I go into Armades, and then I have enough for Hyperion, Hyperion's effect, I <laughs> get rid of Scapegoats, and I didn't know the Scapegoats, so that's bad play on my part. So then I, I just attack over one of the sheep tokens, and then, it's pretty much, it's just game at that, I mean, not like game at that point, I don't know why I said it's just game there. But, uh, next turn he, act he draws into Caius, activates Emergency Teleport, goes into Kribans, Kribans, and then nor tributes it, Caius, Caius, Banish, Hyperion, attack directly, I take 24. Yeah, I mean, this isn't, I don't know what this guy was trying to do here, but next you're going to see a pretty questionable play by him. <laughs> um, I get BLS out, and then he affects the other's BLS. It's all good, I attack over Caius. And then I go to for the fact just just to show Eric that it won't go off. And then we go for he draws into Cyber Dragon. He wipes the field special summon Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon wipe the field. I mean not he wipes the field, then special summon Cyber Oh he does a special summon Cyber Dragon, okay. We draw into Solemn, I set Solemn. And then like I'm not sure what, oh yeah, you have to have a monster I have to have a monster from the special summon cyber dragon. Cool. He sets Royal Decree. And at this point, I s oh, I earned into a divine punishment. I said it. Normal summon, honest, honest attack. Main phase two, bounce back, honest. I probably shouldn't have last last. I did that. Eric was yelling at me for not doing it the turn before, but I was a little nervous. And then he rolled a crease and just sets up a little lock here because like he can't really do anything. But he sets he sets plague. I draw into shine ball. I normal summon shine ball. I'm like screw it. I'm not gonna take any battle damage from this because the sanctuary in the sky. So I was attacking to that, and it was a plague. So I was like, oh. That's interesting. And then up next, he goes into a, for a pretty interesting play here. Uh, he bounces back effect of it. He special summons that. Doesn't attack me because of that. Then main phase two, he goes into Michael, the Arch Light Sworn. It's pretty interesting because I, I totally forgot you can't do it. I thought it was just what Light Sworn watches, but I guess not. And then he mills three. Double D draw in like effect of Earth. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I normal summon Earth, Earth Search, uh, Hyperion, Hyperion, special summon. Attack over to Hyperion and then attack with Earth. I didn't want to waste my Honest because I wasn't sure. Like, it wasn't enough damage to kill him, so I figured it wasn't a good idea to waste my resources. And then his turn, he draws. He draws into Thunder King. And, uh, he forgets that I have Honest in hand, so he attacks into Earth and I just Honest. And then he quits after that. Yep. Up next, we have another Agent. I think my favorite we play here, too. We played a we played a utopia utopia roots utopic dragon deck, so it's like level ones and stuff. 
draws into the decree, Mystic Piper, Mystic Piper, draw a card. And then my turn. I draw for turn. Sanctuary in the sky, Valhalla, Valhalla, special summon, shine ball. Normal summon Earth. Earth add Venus. Attack for 15. Then I realize that you can't because there's sanctuary. Because uh, one day apiece. Then he activates the Kree, which kind of screws me over here because I have Divine Punishment, which is a really good card. Because like, you have so many searches. You have so many ways to get like Sanctuary in the Sky. If you really wanted it that much, you could run Terraforming. But yeah, there's just this. That kind of hurts me there. So then I, I get I go Venus, Sasha Summon, two Shine Balls. Just, I mean, just one. And then, no, two, 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 two. Two, I don't know why I said just that. Uh, battle phase, I do like try to do damage, but he goes Trick Lanterns me. And then... I attack over, attack for 900. He was like, he was thinking, he was sitting there for a little while thinking if he should rainbow Kariba. Like, took, like, I don't know why, like, too long actually, like, he shouldn't have thought for that long, but normal summon Mystic Piper. Mystic Piper, draw, he gets that, Jester Confit, one for one. He one for one's out of Tree Barn Frog. And then he goes for Utopia Roots, discards that, gets Utopia Dragon. I take no, he attacks that, no battle damage because of Sanctuary in the Sky. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, um, I can special summon Hyperion, so, I, I tried, no, I attributed him, I attributed him, his effect, banish, shine ball, get rid of that, take away this guy's up, I can do it twice, get rid of Utopic Dragon, and then, I, did, I don't know his effect are, but, so, has Divine Punishment in it, it, yeah, my, Eric's like, what, wait, what's his effect, Eric was trying to read it, and I was like, nope, Divine Punishment. He revotes my Master Hyperion, and then I attack again, I pass to him for his turn, and then this time, he draws into, like, he draws into, yeah, he gets Tree Frog out, and then he just ends his turn, I'm pretty sure. No, he, where are thou's? Gets Kikibuku, and I, I just saw him warning Kikibuku, because I'm not going to allow that to happen. Then he takes 2,000 because of uh, where are thou. And then Master Hyperion I get. Um, I tribute for Archer Christia, <laughs> which is really funny, because he, he Rainbow Kribos me, and we get a lock going here the last couple turns. Um... Where he can't really do anything, I can't do anything until I draw into like my lower level agents. And then, yeah, because he can't special summon, and so then I normal I normal summon uh, Zeraldius, I attack over, and then I just like pass. And he, he, for a little while, until I draw some more agents, he just keeps, keeps setting stuff. I believe right here he lures, yeah, he lures Kikibuku, has to be his target he gets rid of. Then he sets Trooper Frog, and because of. Uh, Rainbow Creepo, he couldn't, he couldn't Treeborn Frog, but because of Archer Twist, yeah, he couldn't Treeborn Frog, so that's good. Um, I attack over, I would have damaged him. Kikibuku comes out. Seth, he just sets Curry Bolt, because he knows he can't do anything. I draw, <laughs> Compulse, uh, just attack over with attack that. I mean, it's, it was annoying for a while, I'm just sitting here, me and Eric were laughing, because he can't, he couldn't do anything. He sets double Curry Bolt, and Eric was dying because of Curry Bolt. Rank up magic, Argent K at force. Ew. Eric has that in his frickin' gimmick puppets. Creeps me out. I set bottomless, just attack. It's a curry volt, and then. I think he normal sends Kikibuku this turn, and I'm just like, I compulse it because I didn't want it to go off or something. No, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything. He can't do anything. What am I thinking here? Um, at this point, Agent of Mystery Earth. Earth add, you add Uranus. And just to like do a bit of damage to him this turn. Then I pass. He might rage quit, I forget. Somewhere in between here he might. No, he he draws a mystic pipe mystic piper. This is when I compulse it and then he he quits. So it was an interesting duel, I mean. They're fun. They're not the most meta. Like I don't think we really played anything meta throughout these duels, but uh this is the Exodia duel we played against, and we won, so I was happy, and I just wanted to show it off, because any time I beat a, a, a troll deck, I just feel happy. Um, but yeah, this, he just does the typical, like, dragon draw Exodia deck, and I, at one point, I was like, good deck, he's like, thank you. He's like, most people don't say this a lot. I'm like, wow, he's, wow. At this point, I pretty much bricked, and I just have to get my Sanctuary in the Sky, and I set... I set bottomless just in case he somehow got a, a card out. He draws into Upstart, activates Upstart. Oh, uh, well, he, Royal Magical Library. 
can't do anything this turn. I just want, I don't know, like, this is going to be a little, like, one day a piece, we each draw a card, and I can draw onto Uranus. I can still attack, like, one day a piece doesn't stop anything. Like, he doesn't have, he doesn't run any, like, like hand traps, so she probably shouldn't run at least Battle Fader. I pitch Jupiter, make him level 4, Master Hyperion. Like, I like how, like, my, I totally forgot Uranus is special in second, like, second effect. Like, it's so good. You make him any level you want. Like, you like, Shine Ball, Shine Ball, Uranus, Uranus, pitch Jupiter, go into the Beals. It's pretty cool. I like I, I going into Beals. Beals is a great card. He really, it really is. At this point, he trades in, draws cards, pot of duality. He's just, he's just like trying to deck then. Magical Mallet. Oh, cards of continents. Then meh. White Stone Legend, add Blue Eyes. Magical Mallet. He had two pieces. Oh, I thought he had. He should have really had more than two pieces. Oh my god, I didn't know how much he had. I was a little scared at first. Two table of contents here. He just keeps doing this like it's spell counters, which is not really a bad idea because like two, two table of contents is pretty cool. Uh, there's a, uh, there's a lot of different exodias uh, that you can play. that are pretty cool. Uh, let me think. There's like hope for escape. Hope for escape's a good a good, a good one. Uh, hope for escape's fun. There's like level one draw a Mystic Piper exodia. There's a shit ton of exodias. They're all fun to play, not to play against. Cause you're just sitting there, you're like tapping in your corner while you're sitting there. Then I go, I go into Gotcha Gotcha Intensu, Venus, get another, get my Shine Ball from from deck from handout. And at this point, I'm just like, all the agents go with your Gotcha Gotcha Intensu. <laughs> so next, I'll go over, I'll go over the deck, and hopefully you guys don't hear my dog barking in the background, cause there's like someone has like a, a truck outside my house right now, and there's like being annoying, like rude. So there's that. Let's bring up. The deck goes here, guys. So the deck has one BLS, two Honest. Honest is so good in this deck. Ooh. <laughs> triple Master Hyperion, double Venus, triple Magical Shine Ball, Mystic Shine Ball, um, triple Agent of Create, yeah, triple Earth, triple Herald of Heaven, double Herald of Orange Light, uh, triple Agent of Doom, you got triple Uranus, yeah, double Archer of Christia, one Jupiter, one Snatch Steel, one Regeki, triple Valhalla. Uh, two pot of dualities, triple sanctuary in the sky, one compulse, one bottomless, one solemn, and divine punishment. Divine punishment's like it's a really it's a great card because you have your three searchers for sanctuary in the sky. And if you really wanted to run terraformings, you could. Um, you're pretty cool to run terraformings in it, but you don't, you don't need to. And this card just like says no to almost everything. One dark mist, one gotcha gotcha intensity, one herald of pure light, uh, one tiaras. One Felgrand, one Arclight, one Armades, one Goyo, one Ancient Sacred Wyvern. It's pretty funny when you get this card out. Uh, one Ancient Fairy Dragon, one Beals, one Sardust Spark Dragon, one Crimson Blader, one Leo, and one Mistworm. See so you guys. Let me know what you guys think about the deck down below. Thanks for watching.